We welcome you here, sister. Can you please tell us your name and where you're from? My name is Alice Anaya Sanders. I'm from Ghana, but I live in Anchorage, Alaska. So you traveled all the way from Alaska to be with us today for the prayer line. Yes. Come on, you guys, give her a hand of applause for that. That is amazing. That is incredible. And please, Alice, can you please begin with telling us your testimony? Yeah. Praise the Lord. Amen. God is good. There is nothing that our God cannot do as long as you trust and keep the faith going. Um, in 2008, I was diagnosed to have a low thyroid. Um, I don't know if you know what thyroid that is. It has to do with your hormones. And it's how the hormones regulate, determines how your mood is and how your lifestyle goes. And this low thyroid makes you look tired all the time, fatigue, you don't get enough rest, you are constipated, like so many, you can sleep, I can sleep the whole day and wake up and I'm still sleepy. And you want to eat all the time, it makes you look fat. And then when I was diagnosed and the doctor told me they would give me medicine, and I asked her, how long am I going to be on the medication? She said, for the rest of your life, because that's what is going to keep you going every day. And every, from time to time, they will do blood work to make sure how much is the level and determines how much, either they will increase the dose or reduce the dose. So I kept praying, asking God, when will this medication stop? And by the grace of God, this year in May, I visited some friends in Nigeria, and I took the opportunity to go to the scorn. And I was blessed to have the morning water. And as I look at other people's testimony about healing, how they've been using their morning water, and I watched one lady who had kidney problem, and the morning water healed the person. And one lady who had a sickle cell, and he used the morning water. So when I got it, I started praying. I always spray it in my water. I would drink in my food, and I pray. I say, God, you have done it to others. I'm receiving. This is my medication from now on. And the last time I took my medication was May 21st, before I went to the church. And after that, I did not take the medication again till today. And Come on, you guys. Give her a hand of applause. On the 8th of this month, I went again to check to make sure that I have received my healing. And the following day, the doctor's office called me and left a message. I wanted to play it, but unfortunately, my phone is not working here. They said, oh, everything is normal. Continue with the dose you have so far. I said, praise the Lord. So I called my sisters. I said, hey, God has healed me through the morning water. And... I'm doing fine. I don't feel tired. Every morning, I'm able to ease myself at least once a day. And when I wake up, I wake up, and I can walk the distance I want to walk without feeling tired. So I thank God for the morning water. Amen. Amen, amen. You guys, give her a hand of applause for this amazing testimony and healing. For those that don't know, what she's holding here in her hands is this anointing water. Uh, the, what she was talking about when she said she went to Skowen, this is an amazing, amazing t uh, ministry that is happening in Nigeria, Lagos, Synagogue Church of All Nations. Deliverances, healings, breakthroughs are happening. All of people all across the world are going to this place. Um, but the man of God was guided by the Holy Spirit to use a medium, which was the anointing water, a medium that God can use to express himself. God can use to express himself through anointing oil, through handkerchiefs, through anything that he desires. And this is what, what was used for her healing and the testimonies that she was using to be able to receive her own healing. Now, uh, for your a powerful testament, can you please uh, advise people that maybe are suffering with maybe a sickness or those that are watching on live stream, what would you advise them? I praise the Lord. My advice is that God is good. He's the God that heals, and nothing is too hard for him. As long as you are connected with the faith, trust and believe that it's your faith that triggers the healing. Yes. So let's have faith in God and trust him. And every medium that says in Jesus' name Amen. is powerful. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Go ahead and take your seat.